And there are two Moroccans in this as well. Atani, Atanani, I beg your pardon, and Fakusi from Morocco. Also involved in this. And there they are on the inside with the green shorts. And they certainly will be very close contenders for the medals as well. Here's Montero of Portugal. And, uh, well, with a 15-0-1, I tell you what, she would be very, very close to the existing games record of Brunet. 15-14 for Lozano del Campo. Karak Katsani uh, from Greece is 17.20, so she will probably be out of it. Panagietu, 16.31. Liv Westphal of France, 15.29 is her best. And here's Bouchard with a 15.33 best. Farkusi and uh, Atanane, we don't know. Oh, yes, we do, 15.55. Okay, thank you for that. That's a great relief. 16 there. So, and actually, in terms of per performances, the, uh, the performance of 38-year-old uh, Ines Montero on the outside at the moment from Portugal is the finest here. Watch out for her. 347 is her number. 12 and a half laps of the track. And, well, I'll we'll have to keep an eye on the, uh, the lap numbers as they go at a quite a modest pace initially. And the French girls out with Westphal and Bouchard. All right there. Coming in front for Spain is Ana Lozano. And Montero takes up a position of threat in third place at the moment. Two Moroccans there, Fakusi and Atanani. Back in fourth and fifth. There's a little bit of patience required here. First of all, they have to decide who's going to be the pacemaker. And then, basically, it's a decision as to uh, when to pick up that pace start to really, really push the opponents out of comfort. So Lozano with a best of 15-14 again. She's not far off it. In second place at Westphal at the moment. Liv Westphal, 25 years old, 15-29. So very much there or thereabouts. Ines Montero is very economical at the moment, although she's the fastest in the field at the minute. She's in third place. The two Moroccans there, Fakusi and Atanane. Modest at the moment with their ambitions. This is uh, actually, I'm being quite charitable, this is fairly slow pace. But uh, Lozano is getting a little bit of a cheer here, as you'd expect. Spanish girl in front of the Spanish crowd. Westphal holding her place in second. Montero still there. It's very much a procession. Atanane is in fourth place at the moment. And fifth is uh, Farkusi. Twelve and a half laps of the track, and uh, same distances in in running. Five thousand on the. It's quite a common thing on the roads as well. That distance. But, uh, 246 as we watch them come past our scoreboard, the timing board at the moment. Already, we've dropped one of our athletes. I think the Greek girl is still there at the back. That's uh, Karat Katsani. She is. And uh, the other French girl, Bouchard, is uh, the penultimate runner in that pack, although she looks as if she's going to get dropped as well. Lozano keeps her pace at the moment. Westphal is very happily in there. And uh, the two Moroccans, again, quite happy. It appears that Bouchard has uh, recovered somewhat. 
is back in attendance. Well, when you consider that 15 minutes plus is the uh, the target with another 12 minutes to run, you can understand why they're being a little bit conservative here. Setting the pace, Montero looking down at the ground, at the heels of Westphal in front of her. Looking very comfortable. She's actually the smallest of uh, the competitors in terms of height. Tallest is probably uh, Arakatsani at the rear of the, uh, of the pack at the moment. Looks like Meropi Panagiotu has been dropped off the back. There you go, nine laps to go. Not a great deal happening. There's not going to be a lot of pushing and shoving at the moment. Obviously, you don't want to catch the heel. But uh, it's not the time in the race to be uh, making any bold moves. Reserve, reserving uh, energy is very important. The last couple of laps when the pace will really start building. In terms of the performances, if you're interested in hearing the all time best performances in uh, the women's race. Tirunesh Dibaba of Ethiopia. In fact, Ethiopia have got all the top four best performances. Debaba Ayana Defa, and actually Debaba, the other Debaba, Genzebi Debaba, is also a top performer. The best performance recently, 2016, was Almas Ayana of Ethiopia, 14 12. But the top performance at the moment in Oslo, and that was eight years ago, was uh, Tiranesh Debaba. 14, 11, 15. They're going to get nowhere near that. They'll be in the 15s, that's for sure. But it uh, just shows how, over the years, this uh, distance running has become so popular amongst the girls. I'm just trying to see the last European here in my list. The best European. A Russian girl, probably Olga Yegorova, 14.29. That looks to be the best. Oh, actually, Lilia, Lilia Shubakova. And, of course, Turkey's Elven Abelegesi. How did I ever leave her out? 14.24. That would have been stunning. That was in Bergen 12 years ago. My goodness. But, uh, Paula Ratcliffe from Great Britain, 14.29. Again, that was the uh, same year, 2004. Right, they are bunching up a little bit now, but at 6 minutes and 58 seconds gone, we're still not going to get really, really excited until it all resolves a little bit better than this. Lozano keeps the lead. Westphal in second place. The Moroccan that's uh, come up. Uh, actually, Montero, sorry, in uh, third place. And the Moroccan is there. Together with, that is very interesting, Marie Bouchard has come up and uh, is being a little bit aggressive here at the towards the halfway stage. In fact, coming up to try and keep her compatriot company is Marie. She is uh, separating the two Moroccans at the moment. Well, the Spanish hosts have been very generous with their hosting here in Tarragona, I have to say. It's been uh, a great privilege being here. And they've been very, very supportive. Lozano still getting... Big round of applause here. Is it time for Ines Montero to start making a move? 38 years old now. You have to think that she, uh, she'd she be very happy with this pace at the moment. But, um, Anna Lozano, 27 years old. 
quite content to plow her own furrow at the front. And I think Bouchard has now just blown herself out with that little push towards the front. She's now dropped off the pace a little bit. Westphal is the only French girl in attendance. The Moroccans are happily placed in fourth and fifth. Bouchard has dropped back by six or seven meters. The uh, stadium announcer having a, a good time. The, uh, the fact that the Spanish girl is leading at the moment with a great opportunity. You saw 9.14, six more minutes to go. And we are now starting to get really serious as the, uh, the hours pounding the roads and the tracks start kicking in. Montero looking out in the spotlight there for a chance to maybe make a move. It's a bit early yet, isn't it? There will come a time when she will start, though, to go, and maybe the Moroccans will be the first to go. It's uh, Atana, uh, Atane. Atanane, I beg her pardon. There's an extra A and an extra N in there. She's in fourth place, but threatening. Quite content with this time at the moment, a 10-10 to hang in here. It is uh, run indoors as well as outdoors, this race is the longest, I think, of the indoors. She's holding on, but they're bunching up a little bit, and this uh, this pace is getting even slower. The uh, the 400 meter pace is dropping off significantly. The lap by lap is uh, definitely slowing down. 10:58. She's going to be outside at 15 minute record set by Brunet Roberta Brunet of Italy, that was in Bari, 1997. Well, this is interesting. We have a change at last. We have something to talk about and discuss. Liv Westphal has been replaced in second place by Ines Montero. And certainly Montero knows a little bit about pace, that's for sure. And she felt that it was just slowing down a little bit. So Westphal has taken up second place. She's still got Lozano in front of her. But maybe it's the time to push it on a little bit now. We're getting close to uh, the crunch time for deciding whether or not you've got the ability to push on. My gut feeling is that Montero, together with the two Moroccans, will be... Uh, just biding their time and attack a little bit later. Montero's looking very comfortable in there. 5,000 meters for women. Final event of the third day, third night of track and field action. The final night tomorrow. I hope you can join us then, of course. There's not a great deal happening at the moment with Montero stuck in there, second place. Zano holding on, but is it time now for Montero to come? Middle and long distance runner, actually, Montero. There she comes on the outside and actually runs the marathon as well. So won the gold medal in the Euro te European Team Championships in 2009. Liria, 3,000 meters, but uh, she's just held off again. 
Lozano is still holding that. Montero is still holding back. Cut away of the coaches as well. And now already we've seen a little bit of a split. The one, two, and three. And it's certainly obvious that Westphal is under a little bit of pressure here at the moment. And I think uh, Farkusi as well. Well, in fact, it's not. It's, uh, it's Atanane who's uh, gone backwards. And uh, Farkusi has come up into third. So at the moment, it's uh, Lozano in the lead. Montero has just taken over that lead. And uh, Farkusi is there in attendance as well. Here's Montero. Ines Montero. The three of these definitely with a chance of the medal. That is the final lap. We've done 11 and a half. 12 and a half is the challenge. Ines Montero from Kauta Farkusi of Morocco. She's right there and definitely with a chance. But Montero will kick in. She has been certainly the favorite here since we introduced. She's been to the Beijing Olympics. But here is a very impressive Kauta Farkusi. Farkusi down the back straight. Is there going to be a response from Ines Montero? Montero just fighting back here. She's got three meters to make up. That's going to be tough at the end of 5,000, I tell you. And it is Kauta Farkusi that is coming through. She's only 22 years old. Well, I tell you, she's almost looking at lapping now. It's Farkusi that's coming down the final straight. And she's driving hard. Her control has been superb. Look at this. It's arms aloft, arms akimbo. She's won the gold medal for Morocco. We've had three, Morocco, uh, three Moroccan athletes winning. Ines Montero has to settle for second silver medal. And in third place, it looks like Anna Lozano has come through. But really, really impressive. Led all the way until just the uh, penultimate lap. Anna Lozano had to give way for the most talented uh, runners in the, in the group. Ines Montero and Kauta Farkusi. Wow, what a performance from her. It's got to be a season's best for her. 15, 52, 36. It was very slow. And, uh, but tactically, beautiful run there from Kauta Farkusi. Three Moroccan victories there in the races on the track. Very, very impressive. Oh, my goodness. Didn't she put in a, a great shift there? Ana Lozano del Campo takes the bronze medal, I think. It was not absolutely obvious, but I believe that she hung in there to take the bronze. But uh, big celebrations there for Morocco's Kauta Fakusi. And the smiles greet the gold medal victory as she runs. Why don't you stop running there? You've just run 5,000 meters, young lady. The 22-year-old out sprinted the 38-year-old ultimately. And this is what it was all about. Earlier in the race, this was Montero from Portugal, second behind Ana Lozano. That was the way it was for a lot of the race. It was quite a slow lapped encounter. Just a, a little below 16 minutes ultimately for the race. Lozano did her best to drag out the energy from the other competitors, but ultimately, look at the spikes and those multicolored trainers those runners already uh, Lozano is feeling the pressure there as we get a sideways glance from Montero just sizing up the opposition but behind Kauta Fakusi in total comfort comes through when it matters and on that final lap she absolutely drove hard down the uh, the last the uh, the final straight and was in control this is a celebration for Spain's Ana Lozano. And she goes to get her flag, I'm sure. Well, she's going to be signing some autographs here too. So, 
I believe without the official confirmation on the graphic, it was Countess Farcusi of Morocco in first place. Second place, Portugal's Ines Montero. And third, Ana Lozano del Campo of Spain.